this video I will show you how to check for the color of a particular subroutine or function so over here I will load any program I'm just loading this one you can load any program and then now you run it and it will go to the entry point now you want to look for the unregistered string so you right click here search for current module make sure you're in current module and your current module should be user module then look for string references and let it find the string references once it finds all the strings in the user module search for unregistered and you find it here double click to go to this address and here is where the uh, string unregistered will be shown will be set for the title bar this is an if else statement if this is true do this part set this title bar title else do this part so the test here is to test whether al is zero if al is zero then it will jump to the else part and set unregistered if the test of al is non-zero then it will not jump instead it will go here so you can actually patch this thing here to show this uh, title bar uh, to indicate that it has been registered but this will not be a real registration it's just for aesthetic purpose in order to set a real registration you must find out uh, why AL is set to zero in the first place so AL is set over here by reading from the stack pointer plus four and you can go to this address by looking here stack pointer plus four is over here and then you can right click this and then show in this assembler show in dumb follow in dumb ESP plus 4 and you are over here right click again follow in dump so at the moment uh, ESP plus 4 doesn't um, show you anything useful so you must find out who calls this uh, this function to find out who calls this function you can right click and then find references to selected address or control R and you find there are two 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 locations where the function is called the first one you double in now you need to find out which one is the one who is actually calling the function so you set breakpoint on both of them and restart so you set breakpoint on the first one double click and set breakpoint then you go back to the second one double click and set breakpoint then you restart and then run so now your entry point run again and one of the breakpoint will trigger so this is the the, the real breakpoint which calls the uh, which calls the uh, the function to set the uh, title and it is called from this address ending with 47d3 so you can go to the breakpoint and delete the other one you can delete this remove so this is a breakpoint we want so you can restart again just to confirm run entry point run again and now the real breakpoint that sets the title is called here so if you look up here you can see that this call is dependent on this ex value which is being set by this uh, the, the result of this call so when this call is being uh, called uh, it will re return the value and that value will be pushed to the ex so if ex is zero then the, it is unregistered so we can see now the value ax is zero it's unregistered 
So we now want to see how the this function, this call, sets the value of ax to determine whether it's registered or not. We set a breakpoint here. Then we restart. We can go into this one. Run. Run. Now we are entry point. Run again. So it hits the first uh, breakpoint. And then this first breakpoint is the one which sets the value of ex. So now we can press F7 to enter. And you can see here, we can jump, we can uh, step over, keep on stepping over and see the behavior. Notice that this function starts here and ends here, returns here. So let's see what happens. So you keep on running. Just keep on stepping over. And then finally it comes here. And then if you keep on stepping. Notice that here it says AL to 0. So at this point, uh, you already has decided you are you're not registered because it sets AL to 0. Then it's going to return. So if you keep on stepping, it will return to this function, this call. And then um, from here you can see it will push the result of this call to the stack. And you can see EX is 0, that means you are not registered. So in order to, to make it register, we have to go back to this function and uh, do something with the XOR which makes the AL0 so let's rerun again entry point run again so now we have to step into this and fix the part which sets the AL to 0 so step into by F7 and this is the part that we can patch this is the thing which makes it AL0 and this is the thing which uh, makes the uh, program unregistered. So to register the program, you need to patch it here. So we can patch it by making sure that AL is 1. So we double click this and then we set. We move, make sure this is filled with no op and then we move AL 1. That means we move 1 to AL. That means AL will be patch, uh, will be registered, will be 1. one. So that means it's registered. So now we can we have make sure the AL is 1. Now we can patch it. Right click. Go to patches. And patch file. Then we patch to a new file. New file name. Let's call it producer1. I've done this before. Save it. Yes, replace. Click OK. And then now you load the patch file and run it run 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 again and you can see it is already patched there is no unregistered uh, word appearing here and you can also use this program early on you could not do this now you can click this and click this because it's registered so that's all for this video thank you for watching